Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I am clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Uh, today we are talking about two famous remedies uh, in integrative or unofficial protocols against cancer, uh, often used by cancer patients. These are serapeptase or serapeptidase and natokinase. Do they really work against cancer? Let's talk about it. Natokinase is an enzyme uh, with uh, fibrinolytic activity uh, obtained from fermented soybeans. It destroys fibrin. Uh, this is a protein uh, involved in formation of blood clots and uh, protection of tumors uh, from immunity and chemo drugs. Uh, and it can also produce the hypoxia, low oxygen environment, protecting tumor, tumors even more. Our theory is if we dissolve these fibrin uh, nets, it will make this tumor very sensitive to all the treatment. Serapeptase is a proteolytic enzyme that dissolves the protein. It's uh, obtained for, uh, from silkworm. Uh, it uh, uses uh, this uh, enzyme to release itself from the cocoon. And it can also degrade fibrin uh, and uh, biofilms of bacteria, of fungi, and uh, potentially can make the tumors more sensitive. Again, here we see uh, natokinase can really dissolve fibrin, making a tumor more sensitive to immunity, to natural killers, to T lymphocytes, and also uh, decreases the metastatic potential improving the blood flow, preventing the microtrombus formation, and these microtrombi, they can help tumors to spread and to metastasize. Uh, Serapeptase uh, can dissolve their proteins, degrade them, that are important for uh, tumor invasion, for tumor growth and spread, meaning uh, it can help to stop the tumor. So, potentially, we can improve the effectiveness of chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immune therapy, and of course our immunity itself. You can he see here that serapeptidase is a cheap and safer anti-inflammatory drug as an alternative on of non-steroidals, our over-the-counter drugs against inflammation and fever. Uh, it uh, can uh, have some effect uh, in arthritis, diabetes, cancer, and in thrombosis. And in combination with antibiotics, it can decrease uh, post-operative post swelling, swelling after surgery. When they added natokinase to tumor directly, it could really decrease the growth of liver tumors. And uh, we have a lot of cl preclinical proof, not on humans, uh, of treatment enhancement of natokinase, for example, uh, increasing sensitivity to chemodrug oxaloplatin, there are some interesting case reports. For example, a combination therapy uh, consisting of enteric coated vitamin C uh, plus uh, serapeptase uh, has been used to treat thyroid cancer and the complete remission of thyroid tumor was found after 18 years of this combination therapy. That is very cool. It can uh, improve breast pain, breast swelling, and uh, uh, in duration, meaning hardness of the breast, and this is uh, proven on uh, females, on humans already. These enzymes are very sensitive to uh, stomach acid, that means they need to be protective by special capsules that will be dissolved in the gut. Natokinase is better absorbed uh, when you're hungry, on empty stomach. Serapeptase um, is, uh, its half-life is 8 to 10 hours and you need to take it twice a day morning, evening, to keep this uh, concentration uh, even. Our studies on uh, cancer patients are unfortunately lacking, but we have studies in other diseases, for example, in um, carotid artery atherosclerosis, it's an artery in the neck that um, supplies our brain with the blood, and uh, 76 patients, they compared effectiveness of statins, anti-atherosclerosis drugs, with natokinase, and they found out that statins better decreased cholesterol levels, but natokinase better decreased the size of these uh, atherosclerotic plaques that is 
even more important, so it's very promising and needs to be investigated more. And again, this is already human trials. Other human trial, patients with venous problems, venous disease and thrombosis, uh, showed that natokinase improved their symptoms without the development of uh, any drug reactions. So it's an efficient and safe way uh, both for to prevent and to treat vascular diseases. Unfortunately, uh, it can cause uh, bleeding, especially if the person is taking it together with other blood thinning medicines. For example, there was one case when the man was taking aspirin plus natokinase and uh, he got their bleeding into his brain. Serapeptidase or serapeptase can cause uh, allergic reactions. Uh, here we see the um, case report also of the uh, patient with such a very uh, severe allergic reaction. But in general, they are quite well tolerated and serapeptase can cause some uh, gastrointestinal upset, some nausea, diarrhea, uh, maybe skin rashes, um, and uh, rarely it can be allergy or swelling or difficulty breathing, and anaphylaxis, etc. And um, increased bleeding, of course. Again, if you take it with blood thinners like warfarin, like heparin, like aspirin, it can in increase the risk of bleeding. If you take it with other enzymes for digestion, it can increase the risks of gastrointestinal side effects. Pregnant and nursing women should not take it because uh, we have no proved uh, safety. Same is for kids. And uh, if you consider to take it, you must always consult with your medical uh, practitioner who will tell you if you have any mm, contraindications. Anyway, it's better to start from minimal dose and increasing it, especially if you're also taking other blood thinners. And uh, you need to, con to monitor your blood thinning function. Not is usually taken from two to four thousand of uh, uh, fibrinolytic units and uh, serapeptase from 10 to 30 milligrams per day. Again, as their conclusion, uh, these two enzymes are interesting in theory against cancer. They can be potentially good adjuncts. They have some good preclinical data, but unfortunately we don't have any clinical trials on humans uh, using these enzymes, whether they are effective or not. Don't forget about possible side effects like allergies and bleeding. From the other hand, uh, uh, they can be mm, good in cancer patients because some cancers, especially for example pancreatic cancer or stomach cancer, they may mm, have uh, high risks of thrombosis and these enzymes may be a good alternative for these patients because they can be a preventive measure. And also, by our theory, maybe they will help to make a tumor more sensitive to our treatment. We still need to investigate that. I hope we'll have more data in future. Nowadays, we still see it in alternative protocols taken by cancer patients. Dear friends, thanks for your time, thank you for sharing this video, and uh, thank you for supporting this channel. I wish you good luck, have a good day, goodbye. Don't be afraid, doctor.